Hey, Kaiser here with my Pixel Pal. Oop, this direction. Kai! <laughs> it's been a while, you know, what can I say? Yeah, a little bit of rust, uh, but hey, 2019, it is January, starting the year off with the brand new Pixel Pals. How exciting is that? Very exciting. I can tell. Digging the shirts. Thank you, thank you. I, I have to uh, rock a little bit of Disney Afternoon. Yeah, I don't have any Disney Afternoon uh, related shirts. Closest I grabbed was my uh, Mario dressed as Batman carrying which a is, bomb. Which is neither Disney or Afternoon, but we'll, but we'll work through related, this. it is related. It is true, okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll grant you that. So, you know, tangentially, this is uh, apropos for the video. Yo, yo. All right, so what are we talking about? Jolt Cola. It's delicious. Not a sponsor. Oh, to throw back to the 80s <laughs> or early 90s. When is Darkwing Duck? Early 90s, yes? Yes, early 90s. Darkwing Duck. Jolt Cola. Disney Afternoon. Jolt Cola has nothing to do with it. We're talking about Darkwing Duck. And we're talking about Darkwing Duck because Head Cannon, the... Uh, stupendous studio behind the amazing Sonic Mania that yes. overshadowed anything Sega has done with Sonic <laughs> over the past number of years um, with that title uh, did a pitch recently to Capcom to do a new Darkwing Duck game and they were kind enough to put that demo that they used to pitch online for everybody to play since Capcom said <laughs> which you know honestly I don't get because we've had two Disney afternoon revivals so to speak in the last few years in, in 2013 they did DuckTales Remastered which yes. was from way forward and they reunited the 1980s DuckTales cast it was one of Alan Young's last projects at Scrooge McDuck and it, it was Really fun, just a nice, real modern update of the original NES game. And then there was the Disney Afternoon Collection, which released back in 2017, a collection of all the Disney Afternoon-related games that were on the Nintendo Entertainment System. You had Tailspin, DuckTales, DuckTales 2, which was very hard to find. Mm. Uh, Chippendales, Chippendales 2, which again came out like at the tail end of the, system, of the NES, so... Yes. Not a lot of people played it. So that was kind of the first uh, time a lot of people got to even see those titles or get their hands on them. Mm -hmm. And I actually, uh, with Darkwing Duck and Tailspin and Chippendales 1 and 2, I guess I'd only played DuckTales and Chippendale 1. <laughs> so it was when I picked up the collection, I got a lot of games I never played before. Darkwing Duck I'd always wanted to and just... I had played the Turbo Graphics version, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's um, an unfortunate matter. Yeah, and wow. Man, okay, so Capcom and Disney were like buddy buddy NES, early SNES era, put out some yes. really cool games. Um, their, their take on Aladdin on Super <laughs> Nintendo, which a lot of people say, no, the Genesis is superior, to me, while well, graphically and animation-wise, the Genesis one, yeah, it's felt more like the, the movie, the gameplay of the SNES was more solid to me. It was mm -hmm. just more fun to play, um, and that's personal. But, man, they did, you know, like we just said, the DuckTales, DuckTales 2, Chippendales, Chippendales 2, Darkwing Duck, Tailspin, Adventures in the Magic Kingdom... Uh, Mickey Mouse Capade. Mickey Mouse Capade, they did a couple of... Little Mermaid. Oh, yeah. People always forget about Little Mermaid. And think yeah, Little Mermaid's actually not a bad game. Solid little and, title, yeah. And for the record, I'm Team Genesis when it comes to Aladdin. I, I'm... <laughs> you know, a lot not of people to say that, are. A lot of people Yeah, are. not to say the Super Nintendo version was bad, because it wasn't at all, but it was it was different, and it had, you know, it had a couple things extra, but I just like the Genesis version more. Uh, but they, they you're like you said, they did... Uh, the Aladdin game for Genesis, and they also did Goof Troop for Genesis, who oh, yeah. from the guy who later did Resident Evil, of all things. 
So that was his earlier project pre RE. That's goofy. And goofy. <laughs> There's been a few Darkwing Duck games, not a whole lot, but there's the NES one by Capcom, the Game Boy one by Sunsoft, although it followed the Capcom formula pretty religiously, um, and then there was a the TurboGrafx one by Turbo Technologies, which was abysmal. Mm. And like all the, I was so excited because I was a TurboGrafx kid, and I just. Uh, the tail spin on it was abysmal. The Darkwing Duck on it was abysmal. Um, it was very heartbreaking. So the the idea of uh, Head Cannon coming on board and doing a uh, looks uh, visually kind of like what if there was a Super Nintendo version of Darkwing Duck is kind of yeah, yeah. the visual style I got from it. Um, and what are your thoughts on the demo? I'm, uh, curious to hear well um both of us played sonic mania and that was just such a breath of fresh air just because it went back to all the core elements of sonic it got rid of all the the, the bloat and just really did a nice version of sonic the hedgehog and look and feel with just a couple extra little additives that you know may modernized it but obviously not obviously they understand side scrollers in old school games so when i saw this demo i was pretty excited and like you said, it looks like something that, you know, wouldn't be too out of place on a Super Nintendo or a Genesis. Right. They used the music from the NES version, so it, it's, you know, obviously not as refined, but I'm sure being a prototype, they just wanted something in there. Right. You, you spend what money <clears throat> you need, but yeah, you don't need to pay for a full 16-bit version of the tune if you're just trying to get the gameplay to, mm. to sell. But the Darkwing sprite was well animated, colorful. The whole game looked colorful. My downfall is, and, and you're more of a PC player than I am, I have mud hands when it comes trying to do things on a keyboard. Yeah. And I tried to use a controller, and that didn't work. So oh, it's still the controller other... didn't work with it? Well, yeah, I have one of those Xbox 360 yeah. controllers that's for PC. And I tried, and it was like, I was like, I can't do this with some of the angles. Somehow I learned just enough to make it through the demo, but... My overall experience is I really enjoyed it. I really appreciated what they were had already done, what they were trying to do. And, and the real question is, why weren't they given the green light when Darkwing is still a beloved, I guess you could say cult character, but a lot of 90s kids know of him. And they've even referenced him several times in the new DuckTales reboot. Right, so it's like he's not, not a dormant IP, like, I was gonna say the new DuckTales cartoon references him. Uh, there's been some toys over the last year or two that have come out. Yes, like Funko's done yeah. some action figures, and, and but yeah, it's not like they're doing Black Hole, which would be right. awesome for me. But kids, <laughs> what? What? No. I can see why this was turned down. I would tell them come back. The gameplay, and again, I was you know playing it on the, the keyboard. Uh, I thought maybe I just I hadn't played a platformer with a keyboard in a while. Maybe it was me. Mm -hmm. But the con the controls needed some refining. The, yes, the, I agree. The lag with, with the grappling hook was off to me. I liked the inclusion of it. It made the game a little slower paced, though. You know, mm -hmm. you, you had to think more about your movement, which maybe that's what they were going for, but in, just the level design was bad, I guess, in, in, in using that, because there's a section where you fall down, it's like you come down here, and then there's like a little pit here, and you go back up, and there's like the little thing you could grapple to, and if you jumped and didn't grapple to it the first time, and didn't understand the mechanics of holding down and zip kind of zipping up and then letting the the momentum take you uh if you fall down you had to sit and wait for mm. your you know grappling hook to recharge and i was stuck in that area for a while and even once i understood the mechanic you know if, if you missed it or anything it's like man it's it took away some fun so it's involved, definitely, especially with the diagonal jumps and especially the precision that they needed. 
yeah. to make those diagonal jumps. And I just, again, mud hands when it comes to playing platformers on a computer. Yeah, well, the you got the arrow, it was, you know, get the arrow <clears throat> keys, and then you had the guard. They mm, put, that was interesting. So they put the guard, because um, it's kind of like a spiritual successor, even though there's the three versions of the game, it's kind of a spiritual successor to the Capcom game, which is, I guess, mm. why they went to Capcom. But in the NES version, up was the cape guard, and that was yeah. very natural. You know, pushing mm-hmm. up and doing the cape guard. Um, this was a separate button, and it did I think. Yeah, Q, and it didn't really work. There was noth- nothing really implemented that showcased no. what, what that could do. So I tried to use against those, like those flying skull things, yeah. and I, I guess it's for projectile weapons, but no one shot projectiles Ex- at me, yeah. so kind of pointless in that. Exactly. So for you know from. Uh, Having been in production and having had games pitched to me, mm-hmm. you know, um, not coming with a vertical slice that really showcased your in your vision uh, for like different power ups, mm-hmm. um, you know, I could be like, you know, it makes me, and I wanted I wanted to just love this. I wanted to play it and be like, oh my god, head cannon, you know, have my babies. Um, but, uh, yeah, no babies for headcanon. No babies for headcanon. Hashtag that. <laughs> but the potential was there, and it made me excited for what could be. And, and uh, maybe they'll refine it and go at it again. Maybe the fact that someone approached, you know, Capcom, the fact someone approached them with an idea would be them going, well, maybe we should, you know, check out what our licensing you know, deal was, and if we still have the rights, or what it would take to get the rights again for a new, a new take, um, and do a you know a digital only, maybe a few select you know hard copy special edition like they did with Sonic Mania. Yeah. Um, from what I read online, when they pitched it, the general consensus was from Capcom was Darkwing Duck is not even remotely on Disney's radar right now. Which I think is weird, especially as many shout-outs and nods and little cameos that they've done within the DuckTales series in the last year. So somebody's interested, and I remember before they uh, canceled Disney Infinity, there was a pretty strong contender that Darkwing was going to end up in the game, uh, but then it got canceled, and I'm still pissed about that. So, a little tender still, huh? A little tender still on that one, but it's like Disney's not doing video games anymore. I mean, I, I, they're doing mobile stuff, but they're not doing stuff for consoles anymore, and if they are, they're doing it through licensing out to other publishers like Electronic Arts or Capcom, so it's really just other them saying yes, making sure the, the assets and everything is correct, and then what's the problem? They're probably looking big picture. You know, and so much of their focus is on Marvel and Star Wars. Yes. And their Disney princess stuff. And then mm-hmm. you got their Pixar stuff to focus on. And I guess I can see in the grand scheme of things, something like Darkwing Duck isn't like the overall, you know, big Dis- on, on Disney, the, the big vision. But there's got to be somebody... Just because it's not on their radar, mm-hmm. it doesn't mean if somebody came to them and went, hey, we want to do something with Darkwing Duck, they should just go, no, because they don't want to do anything with it. Mm-hmm. Just assign a producer to it who oversees the project and be done with it. You know, Let, let people play with your toys, damn it. <laughs> exactly, and going back to the DuckTales show, they they keep opening up references to other Disney afternoon properties. I mean, they've even referenced gummy bears during one episode. And it seems like, with DuckTales being a success, that this would open the door to them developing and, and releasing shows based off the other Disney afternoon properties and, and doing a revival of Disney Afternoon, or at least introducing Darkwing Duck to the DuckTales continuity. So they've they've got options. It's not like 
you know, again, it's not like, hey, remember Black Hole? I want to do that. It's like, no, it's they're, they're they're actively doing some small things with Darkwing. Have you seen any of the sales numbers for what the Disney Afternoon Collection has done? No, I haven't looked that up, actually. Yeah, I meant to do that before we started recording. I hope it did well. I hope they made their investment plus plenty. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's another factor that might be, you know, maybe they got approached to do this Darkwing Duck game, and they're like, well, we just did the Disney Afternoon Collection, and, like, we sold, like, 20,000 copies, you know? It's like, we mm-hmm. barely made back development cost, you know? And they're like, yeah, we just can't see investing, you know, 200,000, 500,000 into a, a brand new, all-new game. And that, that's possible, um, but you know, with with a two D game like that, it doesn't look like it would. Well, I mean, first off, Disney wouldn't even be developing the game at all. It would be someone internally at Capcom. I think that would be more on their palette if they're busy. And I don't know what exactly they're working on. Oh yeah, they have no more internal studios. I think they have let all of their internal studios go. That's Disney, correct? Yeah, Disney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Outside of mobile gaming, they don't do video gaming anymore. No. I mean, they still, you know, license. Yeah. But yeah, it's they they stopped internal development. They'll they'll kill studios. They'll they'll buy a project and then they'll destroy the studio. You know. <laughs> exactly. That's that's the way of big business. <laughs> Big business, they'll they'll assimilate it like the Borg, and then just go on waiting for more things to consume. Exactly. So, uh, well, yeah, just let someone sell the license. You know, give the license to somebody to use. Like that's what I was saying. Assign a producer to it. Let the studio develop it. Have that producer, you know, check it for quality and accuracy, and make sure it's not going to damage the, you know. Disney brand and the Darkwing brand and you know take a chance especially after, in light of you know the success with Sonic Mania that was that went over very very well and they revitalized a property that's been struggling for years yeah this is like the first time that a Sonic game has gotten any sort of positive recognition in I can't even remember the last one. Sonic Generations, maybe? I think one of the Generations, racing games? Generations, and I think, yeah, the first or second racing game had some yeah. praise behind it. But yeah, um, all of, like, the reboot, the Sonic the Hedgehog, well, they, they just call it Sonic 09. It's not the official name oh, of it. Sonic 06. 06. Was, yeah, Sonic 06. That was so bad. And then there was Sonic Boom based off the cartoon, but... That's some weird design choices for that. Yeah, um, yeah, that had a that's a whole other episode of talking about just the the technical problem yeah. that that game had and mm-hmm. um, retconning it to fit on the Wii and yeah, yeah. that was a broken game. Yeah. <laughs> um, the, the so Wii U, I'm sorry, but yeah, um, based off what you saw, what would you do or what would you like to see from Darkwing Duck to make it a game that you feel would be worthy of the the Darkwing license and also what you would personally would want to see out of this experience. I would want to give I would keep headcanon on it. Yes. Uh, so is is that your your stipple your, uh, your question is if headcanon were given to go ahead what I'd want to see or if just if I were in charge of bringing a Darkwing Duck game to light today, what would I make? Well, let's just say headcanon's pre-established, and based off what you've seen, just this, this demo where there's not really that much in terms of enemy interaction, you know, in my, my case, I'd like to be able to have a joystick controller. Uh, and definitely it, that would be, you know, uh, they're, they're, ha- have to have, you know, controller support. Um, but based off what's there right now, what do you think would make it a better experience? What would you like to see from just seeing one level, what little control scheme that we have, and then so on and so forth? Um, if I give them another shot, I'd like to see the refine the grappling mechanic a bit. Um, what there, I would like to see at least one or two. 
uh, ideas of what they have for their the the gas gun because uh, they had the po- gas power up. But yes. it didn't really do anything except let you to shoot faster until it ran out, and then you had to like time your shots. Made the quacking noises. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I like to see a refined grappling mechanic because I like the mechanic, and I liked what they were where they were going with it. Because wasn't in the NES one of the things you could get was a grappling. I think so. You had, you had like a while. A, you had like an arrow you can shoot. That like yes, made yes. a ladder, and then it had like the the arching bomb kind of gas pellet, and then I think I want to say a grappling was one of the pellets. You or uh, uh, well, I think a grappling was like a, one of the natural features anyway. Well, um, his ability to, to hang was a natural feature, and I mm-hmm. thought that was missing from this. Actually, it was probably like the fifth time I played through it because I died a lot. I did too. Yeah, <laughs> mostly from fighting controls. Yeah. Um, so, uh, what was I saying? I totally we talked about the, the power-ups and grappling oh, mechanics. yeah, the grappling mechanics. Um, a, a different level to see where, uh, oh yeah, the, the hanging mechanics. So, yeah, it was like the fifth time. Uh, I was playing through it to where he actually grabbed and held on to it because I was trying to make him do it. So I don't know if like the the detection, the collision detection was just off on it, but I couldn't get him to like grab on the little thing because that was my natural thing to try to do uh, mm-hmm. because of playing through the NES game. And part of that is to the level design. Uh, it's designed more for you to have to use the grappling hook to get to a part to hang than to just yes. jump to get to the part to hang. Um, but if they're going to force that much grappling, they need to either remove the time, you know, mm-hmm. remove or greatly reduce the time uh, it takes to reload. Because there was a lag, for sure. Yeah, because you're basically, it was a reload time. You saw the meter go back up, freaking use it again. Um, but since the level wasn't naturally designed to take advantage of his his natural grab and hang ability, um, it, it just it didn't work. So I, I want to see an all-new stage layout uh, mm-hmm. that showed, that highlighted the the hang and grab mechanic that highlighted the the grappling mechanic um, and like one or two of the additional gas power ups that they might have seen and at least one boss fight to see you know how they would bring that in um, so that's not like my what I'd want to see for like a full game but like if I if I were like okay come back and pitch it to me again in six months mm-hmm. that's what I would required to be in that second pitch yeah so about you what aspects would you oh and the visual aesthetic i, I like the direction of the 16-bit pixel you know era uh, i would definitely I'd, I'd stay that route yeah i think for me i would do a couple things and this is based off the ducktales remastered game uh first off i'd get back as many of the original voice actors as i could I, I know I, I know some people didn't like the cutscenes that they put in throughout DuckTales uh, and wanted to skip them, but I personally enjoyed them because it was the original cast and that really evoked that sense of nostalgia and immersion into the game. Yeah. Uh, so I'd like to get Jim Cummings back and Terry McGovern and, and some of the others that you know played all that because they actually did get all, a, a number of characters to reprise their roles for like a two minute scene in DuckTales last year and that was super cool. Yeah. Um, so I'd get back as many of the voices as I could. Um, I think graphically I would keep it the same, but I think I would kind of go the Genesis Aladdin route, make Darkwing really expressive and well animated because he just he constantly you know as as much of an egotist as he w- was, uh, he pratfalled a lot yeah. and would always make these ridiculous cartoony faces and it you know there was always that element of slapstick in the the implied seriousness that it had it, especially when something went wrong for him and I'd, I'd try to put in little moments like that but obviously it wouldn't mess up the gameplay it would just be like a stun or well even or the, the NES game tr- 
tried to introduce stuff like that. Couple like there times. was like banana peels on the ground that if you hit, you would slip on and stuff. Yes, like yes. That. Um, I I have the team go back and look at for the grappling thing because some of the biggest things I tried to shoot the grappling hook and it was like if you retracted it and it came back. It's like it took a split second before you could shoot it again, and it was too long. It's like you, you got to make that extra grab. I'd say that they look at games like Ninja Gaiden, the original Sunsoft Batman, and look at like how you do like I, I would definitely put a wall jump in there. You know, like where it shoots over here, shoots over here. Well, because he, he has the the hang mechanic. Yes. So, and you could swing and build up momentum after yeah. time, which is how I got through a couple things. Because I was like, how the hell, you know, you're, you're like 10 seconds into the game and you've fallen down that first step. It's like, yeah. well, how the hell do I get out of here? And that's not good. Yeah, I mean, it. I can see they did it because it forced you to learn the grappling mechanic without... But, yeah. I'm over here and I'm yeah. just like trying to fight it, especially <laughs> with the angles and the jumping. It's like, it's too much, man. If I had a controller and a button, then it'd be one thing, but, you know. Not if you didn't have to wait, you know, two seconds between each attempt to shoot the grappling hook. Yeah. And I shouldn't be scared of like a generic thug or a rat. And uh, it's like, oh crap, I'm never going to survive this thing. It, it, so there were a couple things with that, but, you know, I would look at like some of the better 8-bit games and even the 16-bit games but I wouldn't strictly adhere to them I, I'd certainly put some modern gaming conventions into it in the sense of you know just don't don't fight the control the control should be an extension of what you're trying to do throughout the yeah. thing but any game that forces you to stop and really think about I need to press this this and this to make this happen that breaks the immersion and that messes it up and that was uh, the problem for me. And uh, that partially, though, is attributed to the trying to play the key on keyboard and not with the controller. Yeah, yeah. and because I, I struggled with that. Uh, but, you know, for what they had, um, there were a couple places I didn't... I could jump down here and it was kind of a leap of faith. I could jump down here, but other places it's... Yeah, you know, that's... It, it wasn't very clear. But again, with the, the level design, it, there was uh, bottomless pits that looked just like places that you jumped down before. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And I, I don't want to be too hard on because I know it's more of a proof of concept. See, see, isn't this cool? If you, if you yeah, this much, we can do more with it, and they probably could have, uh, you know, straightened up low, you know, tightened up the graphics on level, level. five. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you know, uh, re re redesign the levels so that they flow more naturally. I mean, you, you only have so much, but it's like you said, you know, with a demo, it's a, first impressions are important, and if you don't wow people, then all these great ideas are worthless. Yeah. And their work is proven from Sonic Mania, but, you know, it just... I, I could see what the, where, where they were going and what they were trying to do, and it was a very short, very incomplete demo. I'm not going to be you know, crappy to the demo as a proof of concept, but in if you're trying to sell an obscure Disney license, you know, as, as Capcom's concern was, then you need to make this, oh my god, this could be the next revitalization of Darkwing Duck, especially with all the other stuff going on at the side. We've had two Disney games in the last six years yeah. based off, you know, the old nostalgia stuff. So, yeah, and that makes me wonder, because like, they hold sales figures so close to their chest, companies do. Mm -hmm. um, how well did the Disney, the the Dark, not the Dark, the DuckTales remastered do? Did it, because they didn't remaster it, well, they did, They that wasn't even the first one, the Mickey Castle of Illusion got a really beautiful remaster. That was from Sega, though. Right. So well, I'm just they... saying the the Disney game properties that have received a remaster, you know, you'd think that if they were making Hand Over Fist money, like, they would be chopping at the bit to remaster more of those classics. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So I'm not sure how much of a market there is for that to, to warrant the cost of doing something like that. Because I think somebody out there knows that there are old people like us that remember these games and like playing them and, and would like to continue that experience in some capacity or 
even even some of the these you know developers now they're like you know they grew up on these games and now they get a chance to make their own and um, uh, th this is their chance to try to do one of these these Disney games and I, I, I don't know it's like you say Castle of Illusion and DuckTales are probably two of my go-to favorite Disney games from the old days and then you know the Disney Afternoon collection was just a really nicely done collection Tailspin sucks but what can you do um, so someone recognizes it and then I know Disney leaned heavily into Disney Infinity for a while until they didn't and Outside of that, no one's making Disney games anymore. Not really. Yeah. You'll you'll get the occasional mobile tie-in to whatever theatrical release, but the uh, crafted extended experiences yeah. are few and far between. Yeah, the days of Aladdin and The Lion King are done, unfortunately, right, as, as far as Disney game is going. So how do we bring that back? How do we make... <laughs> Somebody pitching ideas like this to companies that might have some little nostalgic tie, and hopefully they'll say yes. I mean, they've, they've succeeded getting a couple through the door. It's just somebody's got to make these Disney games, and there's a whole nostalgia group out there just dying to play these things. And the, so, and the clock's ticking to, to, to cash in on that. Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, it goes through, the retro stuff goes through phases. It's you know a big cycle, and it, they have their window, and they might ten years from now when people get weirdly retro nostalgic for the '90s again. But you know, I mean, and of course, as I said, Ducktales. It's like it, it, their windows now, and if they're ever going to make this game, it's probably right now that they should could do it. And I think if they don't, then. We're not going to see a Darkwing game for who knows how long. If ever. Yeah. All right, so uh, Capcom, if you're watching, give them a second chance. Call them back in and say, hey, if you, you know, talk it out. Think it out. Have your, have your accounting run the numbers. Find out what the license is going to cost. And you know, say you sell twenty, thirty thousand units at you know nineteen ninety nine. Is are you gonna are you gonna make a profit on that? Even if a small one, even if if it's a fraction of a profit, it's worth it for us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like all you're doing is bringing more good good into the world. I I totally agree. I I think what they were trying to do was well-intentioned and I could see what they you know I could see where they were trying to go with it obviously being a incomplete demo uh, they did not have a chance to realize all those ideas but I, I think that given time and money and a date and all that stuff they could yeah and you know I can imagine how the, the meeting went. It's it's literally it's just a vertical slice. It's just to show, hey, look, we can do it. Here's you know we, we here's our track record. Here's a, a bit of our vision, and they probably talked more of where they you know wanted it taken. That's the part we we don't know. It was like where how far did their vision go? Um, in, in, in bringing this to light, so... I see a Darkwing cinematic universe. Actually, they probably didn't say that. That was the problem. <laughs> see a Darkwing game universe. Not a cinematic universe. Maybe he needs a gaming universe. A game matic universe. There you go. There you go. You gotta, need, you gotta get those buzzwords in there, so... Synergy. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> All right. Welcome to 2019. Very first Pixel Pals. Hopefully not the last. <laughs> there, there, I think there are other games coming out this year. I think we'll have some stuff to work with. Th there might be a topic or two to discuss. Yeah, there might be. We'll uh, see. All right. Well, as always, it's all geek to us. Bye. <laughs>
Oh, H I A A A. I said say the alphabet. You started reciting the alphabet. You did not say the term the alphabet. The alphabet. Wow. All right, I'm gonna need you to scooch down just a little, or or yeah, camera up or scooch down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this doesn't roll anywhere.